Hey everyone, it's pretty spectacular. Can't you see that amazing rock behind you, or behind you, behind I us? <laughs> it's just friggin' amazing, really. Uh, the colors, I don't even know whether this uh, video is gonna do it justice, but the red in this rock is just amazing. And uh, it's the um, sand, that's uh, sediment that's actually over dust storms, over millions of mm. years has collected and uh, the exposure to the elements, uh, the water, the, uh, is it, was the ice and snow too in some cases, like in the winter? Yeah. In the winter yeah. months yeah. too? Um, it actually, um, what's the word, oxidizes. Yep. And it. uh, it's like a rusty rock. So what you see behind us is the rock oxidizing. Yeah. It's just, um, it's just incredible, the colour. You can just imagine touching it yeah, and coming up with a red, rusty red, red fingers. fingers. Yeah, yeah, red hands. So it's just amazing. Yeah. So we're so blessed to be in a place that's quite spiritual yeah. um, because they have here what's known as energetic vortexes. Mm. And it's known to, you know, enable um, connection. Yep and it can be done through meditation. So you get a lot of retreats here down in the center mm. and people come from all over the world to meditate. Yep. Take in and soak in all the energy that's around here. Um, the natural elements that are here. Mm. Um, I'm feeling quite peaceful, to be quite mm. honest. I feel very peaceful and I can't wait to actually get into Sedona itself where I think that you're going to find um, a lot more a lot more energy yeah like you, you, you'll be able to feel the energy yeah I'm looking forward to that yeah but the the scenery here is spectacular it's just awesome so we are incredibly blessed to be in such an amazing part of the world here and um, we get, again, if you look behind here, I mean, apart from that incredible red rock that you've got behind us, the vegetation is very similar to Australia. Oh, it is actually. If you, if you didn't know you were in America, you'd think you were back home. I know, I know, <laughs> it's just incredible. So, um, I mean, even the dirt on the side of the road here, it yeah. just looks very Australian. Yeah. So we feel quite at home here. <laughs> and the heat, it's not too hot. Again, because we're at that elevation, mm. higher elevation, uh, it's not as hot. Yeah. Phoenix was incredibly hot. Yeah, it was. So it was very dense heat. So an interesting fact is that there's only 18, on average, 18% humidity, which is incredible. So you don't have that wetness mm. in the air. And what he was explaining to us was a lot of people with rheumatoid arthritis or joint issues mm. uh, move here because honestly, my hip joints, when I get, I get uh, you know, issues uh, with aches in those joints and I'm not feeling it at all. Yeah, yeah. Just and, awesome. You know, I've had a knee operation like a long, 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 long time ago and I suffer from arthritis in my mm. knee, mm. not Nothing. a problem. No, it's interesting. And that's uh, this low humidity. So mm. anyway, that's our share here all the way from Phoenix, uh, not Phoenix, where are we? We're I don't even know where Oak we are. Oak Creek. Oak Creek, Arizona. Near, near Sedona. Yeah, Arizona. not far from Sedona. Yeah. Uh, over and out for now, bye. bye.